Hi there, this is Ike from Spot Home London and today we're going to be seeing a five bedroom house in East London. Now we do have South Key Station only a six minute walk away and that's going to have the DLR line there. Now if you happen to work by Canary Wharf it's going to be a great location as it's only two stops away and as for grocery shopping in this area we do have a Tesco right at the top of the road so within about one minute you'll be able to get all of the food you need. Now as for the home we're going to be seeing one of the five bedrooms so let's go ahead and see it. So here's outside of the front door, we'll have a road and then the shop's going to be this way along with the station. To the left we'll have the River Thames. So as we enter the home we'll have the hardwood floor that leads us straight to the staircase. So. Down here, immediately to our right, we'll have a bedroom, as well as one around the corner. Now, as for the lettering, we'll start off with A and B up top. Down here, we're going to have room C and D. And the room we're going to be seeing is room E, which is downstairs. But before that, we'll just quickly have a peek upstairs to see rooms A and B. We've got room A and B up there. So now, everything will be downstairs, so we've got the bedroom, the kitchen, as well as the bathroom. So the room we've come to see is in fact right here, and to the left we can see the rest of the home. So here's bedroom E, out in the corridor there is another front door. It leads to the lower ground floor. So here in this room, very spacious and bright due to the very large windows here at the end. And as for the room, we'll have a double bed here in the center. To the right of it, we have a nightstand. And opposite, we'll have two standalone wardrobes as well as a chest of drawers in between them. So now the space inside of the wardrobe we'll see looks like this and we have one drawer at the bottom of this standalone wardrobe chest of drawers multiple drawers there and this standalone wardrobe features two drawers at the bottom so now the room also comes with a desk chair and then outside of the window, you can see we have the lower ground floor that leads to the second door, the second front door. So here's the room from this angle, we can see the radiator right by the entrance. So that's bedroom E. Now out here in the corridor, we've got a toilet, sink and mirror in this room. And right next to it, we'll have a bathroom, which also features its own toilet, sink and mirror. Bathtub is to the left. And then around to the right, we have a radiator for your towels. So that's the bathroom. Out here in the hallway we do have a dryer, we've got two fridges, so lots of space here for food, so we've got the freezer here, fridge on the right, and as we enter the kitchen we're greeted by the dining table as well as a couch and TV, and down to the right we can see the kitchen. We've got countertops all around, tiled floor, and then we've got a number of appliances. So we've got the sink over here, washing machine, a dishwasher is going to be beneath that. We've got the microwave up here, a second microwave in the corner, and we've got the stove and oven. 
along with a to toaster and kettle to finish it off. Now up above we do have plenty of cabinets and cupboards for any food or kitchenware. So you can see we've got some plates in here. And finally we do have an outdoor area. So that's through here. So a very inviting space. Somewhere where you could perhaps enjoy a breath of fresh air and the summer sun. So that's it for this home. So that has been it for this five bedroom home in South Key. For more information, make sure to check out spotterhome.com. Bye-bye.